Um, that's quite the introduction, Judy. I haven't really heard myself spoken about like that. So I must, uh, I must say that I am no longer in the regu regular education system. Um, I graduated or retired a number of years back. And when I did, I started to look around at the programs and services that uh, were available for young people on the spectrum. Because in fact, over the years, I'd maintained relationships with many of the individuals that I'd worked with and their families. And um, they were saying to me, oh, so what happens next, Pat? Okay, our child is graduating from high school or, or they have graduated from high school. What kind of services and supports are next? So I started to do some research on that once I, uh, once I got out into the, the, the real world and, and found really there wasn't a whole lot, right? That, uh, that ongoing support that they had throughout uh, their educational years within the school system sort of ended. And the very sad thing was some of these people with huge brains, very talented, were now at home. Um, they had, you know, tried to get jobs and they were, they were trying to go to school and do different things, but they were really struggling. So I started about uh, a year and a half ago then to work on a program called Transition to Life. And uh, it, uh, it's a course that I'm developing for young people with, um, with Asperger's syndrome. Now, after working on it for a while, I thought, this is a huge project. And I do some um, work with Autism Ontario, so I approached uh, Marg Spolstra at Autism Ontario and said, look, Marg, any chance maybe we could put this um, through an Autism Speaks grant, so maybe just I'd get paid a little bit for some of the work that I do, and would, uh, would also be able to share it with the masses. So last, I guess it was December, I put this um, proposal in. And um, it started, they, they asked for more and more information, so started the process. And lo and behold, at Christmas this year, we got the grant from Autism Ontario. Or, uh, sorry, from Autism Speaks. So I have to say, before I say any more, thank you, Autism Speaks, if there's anybody here from Autism Speaks. And thank you, Autism Ontario, for supporting this idea. So what this idea is, is um, a 12-week course at this point. And it's going to be held in the Barry area starting in June. Starts June 12th and ends August 28th. And it's a course for young adults between the ages of 18 and 28 who have um, graduated from high school and who have Asperger's syndrome. And it is called a model for living a good life with Asperger's syndrome. So in this 12 week period, we can't do it all, really. It's very, very, sh it's, it's a brief, um, introduction into the kinds of things that they need to be looking at as they transition into um, the adult world. So week one, we really start off with um, introducing both having parents and students, young adults there, and talking about the diagnosis. Because one thing that I found over the years is that really people don't understand their own diagnosis. They don't understand why they're struggling with executive functioning. They just get really mad and frustrated with themselves, right? They understand it's something about social skills. Like, I got problems with social skills. I'll hear all the time. But it is, um, it's really important for parents and young adults to understand not only the defining characteristics, but how it affects them, since not everybody's the same, right? And also what they can do about it. So that one night, I want parents there, too. Parents have been a big part of this. I've asked for parents to um, sign a contract with the individuals that are applying for this because, in fact, as Michael has mentioned, you know, individuals with Asperger's syndrome don't grow up at the same rate as everyone else. Their social emotional needs are somewhat delayed. So they need the support as they enter into adult life to move forward. Um, so it, it carries on through a whole variety of different topics from emotional regulation and anxiety reduction to um, healthy relationships, friendships, and sexuality. We have a number of weeks on uh, enter, entering into post-secondary and how to the kind of supports you'll need there, as well as employment. There's also a week on um, self-employment because I really found as I started to work with some of these individuals in the past number of years that they have really good skills that they may be employed, they may be self-employed in the future. Um, there's, so as I said, there's 12 weeks. In addition to that, there's also a coaching component. 
So the coaching component really is, is choosing one area that they're having the most difficulty with transitioning um, or, or an area that they really want to focus with. And they get six hours of individual coaching to support them through that, uh, that process. Um, for instance, with one girl, you know, she's a very capable gal. She's going to go to Georgian College in the fall, but she's terrified to take the city bus. Right? So that is what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to teach her to take the city bus, not only to the college, but to the mall, to the grocery store, so that at the end of that six hours, she will feel quite comfortable and confident doing that. Somebody else wanted to do a budget, right? So we'll start them off with a coach and then, um, you know, support them to a point, but also withdraw support as we see them gaining the skills in the area. I have a couple of folks that are helping me with this project, and I'm so thankful for them. It's a couple of young adults with Asperger's syndrome, and I don't, I thought maybe they were going to be here tonight. Annie, are you here somewhere? I didn't think so. Okay. Anyway, I have a couple of folks that are, are wonderful, and uh, they say to me, Pat, if you say it like that, no Aspie's going to understand that. You have to say it like this. And so a very good perspective because I'm very used to teaching um, teachers and uh, I'm, I'm used to teaching large groups of adults. But to work with a group of um, people with Asperger's syndrome in a, in a large group like this is new. And as somebody said to me last week, I hope you're not going to, I did interviews last week for a bunch, I hope you're not going to, it's not going to be death by PowerPoint. So, you know what, the expectations for this group, I'm telling you, after I went through the interviews last week, I was almost terrified. I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board here and see what, how I can do things better because they are giving me tips in, in terms of how to do this and do it for them. And so uh, it's really interesting. Um, yeah, so we've, last week was interviews, and uh, that was one exhausting week. Um, interviewed, I think we interviewed 16 um, families. So it's the child as well as the parents. And they um, left with a package of material that they're going to complete because we're doing a, uh, also doing a current list of the skills that they have in a variety of different areas. So that had to be returned to me in the next week. And some of that information is going to also be used to do some research on the project because we want to, uh, we want to try to see if we can get it evidence-based. And obviously, I'm trying to get more funding in the future. So anything that's evidence-based is going to be um, you know, helpful. Um, what else can I tell you about this project? It has been um, it has been fantastic meeting the people that are interested in this course. I've heard from people from all across Ontario. It, it breaks your heart really because it's only in the it's only in the Barrie area, and people are saying, "Well, I'll travel. Like, I'll come to it." You know, and so and and we have some people coming out of area, coming from. Um, you know, different areas, but for the most part, it's right, it's going to be held at Georgian College and uh, in Barrie, and it's mostly people within a, a 40 minute radius that are going to be taking the course. Um, so that's so that's step one, and I really hope to see that this course is going to be shared across the province in different ways. Um, you know, some of the high, uh, some of the secondary schools have been sort of looking at it to see if maybe it would be a course that uh, could support the individuals in, while they're in high school if they're having difficulty getting all the credits that they require to graduate. Um, there's a whole variety of ways to uh, to sort of uh, use it. I think. Um, I think I pretty well covered it all, except they will have weekly assignments. That's another thing that, you know, there were a lot of groans about this. Uh, they weren't keen on the weekly assignments, but they will have weekly assignments, but of a real practical nature that they have to do um, and hand in, or some of it's like practice interviews or things like that, or, or demonstrate uh, the next week. Parents are extremely keen on, on this uh, project. As uh, I said, as the parents came in all keen, I said to the young adult, are you as keen to be here as your parents are? <laughs> and I really had to ask the question, because if they don't want to be there and their parents sign them up and put them through the application process, there's not much point. Like we have to, I mean, just some of them, you know, you just need a little bit of coaxing and uh, provide more information about how much fun it's going to be. Um, and that does it. Uh, one other thing. I'm already involved in a monthly social group, 
And this is uh, a group of young adults between the ages, once again, of 18 and 28 with Asperger's syndrome that come together for social outings. And so the, the folks that are going to be participating in this uh, course are also going to be expected to uh, participate in, in the, they call it the Spectrum Connection on a monthly basis. And that has been a really wonderful way to bring people together. And from that monthly um, situation, they go out and do all kinds of things during the month. And parents are saying to me, do you know what? I've never seen my, um, my child go out with others and do different things uh, until this point. So that is something that uh, I would highly recommend in the area that you're living in. Put groups of young people with Asperger's syndrome together and, and, uh, and fabulous things happen. So I think I'm short on time, which is probably good because maybe somebody else will be longer on time. Am I? Yeah, you're short. Am I short? Should I just keep talking about anything else? Okay. Um, I'll just talk generally about my business then. Uh, I have a little business called Integrated Autism Consulting, and that was mentioned uh, just a few minutes ago. And I also do other work uh, in, in terms of advocacy supports. I do um, consultations, I do educational um, s um, speaking engagements, a whole variety of things. But um, at this time of year, it's uh, IPRC, uh, we call it IPRC season. I was saying to Janice, and uh, it's when a lot of the IPRCs are happening within the school system. So parents get really uh, concerned about this time of year. So I have been very, very busy in, during IPRC season two, trying to guide the parents and just provide the information from uh, afar. I prefer to empower them to be able to go into the school to support their own child instead of going in, although occasionally I, I do support families within the school system as well, like within school meetings. Um, that has been, uh, I've been doing that for approximately 10 years because in the last part of my career I worked part-time for the school system and then did some work on my own uh, as well. So uh, that's a little bit about that. I do thank you for coming tonight. I really do appreciate uh, seeing a full house. And I thank CIP for inviting me to, to speak tonight. And uh, look for information about Transition to Life in the Autism Matters magazine if you're interested, because there'll be a write-up about that next time around. And you'll see, hopefully, um, how, how we have progressed. So enjoy the rest of the evening. Thanks for coming.